Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the 2019 Dacia Duster or it's also called the Dacia Duster. That's how it's supposed to be pronounced, guys. This has to be one of the cheapest crossover SUVs on market, guys. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Yes, very exciting, isn't it? I agree with you guys. It must be very exciting. This is supposed to be the second generation Dacia Duster. It's from 2019. We all are aware of the first generation Dacia Duster. And guys, believe it or not, I actually used to be a fan of them. This Dacia Duster costs around 18,000 euros. Is this good value for money or not? Well, we're gonna find out in a moment, everyone. For a long time, Dacia was actually a brand that not many people have heard of. Neither did I, guys. Like me, until like 2010 or so, I never heard of the brand. I never even knew it existed. In fact, now many people have known that this brand is Romanian and it, it existed since quite a long time actually but the thing is Dacia started life building cars domestically in Romania however they did have some cars that were exported to most of Eastern Europe and they did have some rare models that ended up here in Belgium some classic models so we're talking about the 1980s Dacia models guys around the early 2000s or maybe I think the late 90s Renault purchased Dacia. So now Renault is the owner of Dacia. And I feel that this made Dacia ever so slightly more famous. I admire the SUV styling right here. So you have a different color tone of plastic over there and the body paint over here. And then I also like how you have some chrome trim onto the grill. So I, well, obviously this is an upper spec version. So therefore you get more glitter on top to make you feel like you've uh, spent the money nicely, which is probably true guys, because if you look at it, it also has LED lights on the side. And then also, I like how the indicators have two black lines covering it, but uh, looks good. Still looks good nonetheless, I like it. So everyone, I like how this Dacia Duster is a double grill. So you have one part of the grill here, and then you have the other parts of the grill underneath right here. Very, very interesting. And also you get the fog lamps at the corner. You get a nice parking camera right there, guys. Guys, I don't know about you all, but I think this design is amazing, all right? Just admire the muscular design on the side and, and also onto the bonnet. Lovely. I like how it's written duster right here, proudly. You get a different paint for the side mirrors. Very interesting, guys. It pairs actually well with the theme of this car, if I think about it. Now, this is the rear of the Dacia Duster, and I really like how they've done this rear light. It looks absolutely interesting, and it looks very unique in its own ways, guys. I've never seen a rear light like this on any other car, so well done to Dacia for at least trying some different styling. I have to admire how there's a two-tone color going on here. So here you have the body color, and then here you have the hard plastic silver. I like this muscular look again, guys. I like how there it's flat, and then near the wheels it elevates again. So this is very interesting of the design. And uh, I like how you have this line over here to surround the wheel arch. I don't know about you all, but I think this kind of alloy wheel is fabulous for this Dacia Duster. It's a two-tone alloy wheel. So you have it nice and silver over here, and it's black inside. Kind of reminds me of the alloy wheels that Nissan and uh, Renault get, because as you guys know by now that Nissan and Renault have an alliance. So practically this car has some Nissan pieces in it and Renault pieces too. And speaking of Renault Nissan, did you guys know that this is actually based on the same chassis as the Nissan Qashqai? Well, now you do. So far, I'm very impressed with the Dacia Duster. I cannot complain uh, much about the design. The design is as good as it has to be. And uh, may I remind you all, it's not an expensive car, so don't expect some fanciness. However, for every car, whether it's a budget car or whether it's an expensive car, there has to be some logic behind the design, I believe. And so far, I found some questionable aspects about the design of this Dacia Duster. And I shall point them out right now. So, the first questionable aspect I found about the design is this grille is nice and big 
from far away. Everyone will assume this whole thing is a grill. However, if you look closely, the, up, the upper section of this grill is just plastic. It's not actually an air intake. And so is this part of the badge. This part of the badge has no purpose whatsoever. Uh, the parking camera is exposed. It's all the way down there. So why didn't they hide the parking camera within the badge? Now this is something that interests me. Um, and then also this part of the grill is open at least. So that's an air intake. Now I did praise how this is open, right? This acts as a second grill. Perfect. But what exactly is the purpose of this open right here? Was it intended for an extra option? And it's the same case on the other side. At least Dacia has made the side indicator one of the most interesting. And it's one of the most interesting because it's not conventionally on the wing mirror, guys. It's on the side here and they've made it appealing. So that's a plus. But the part which I find questionable is what exactly is the purpose of an imitation of this snorkel? I just don't understand because there's no air intake. There's no... Uh, I don't see all I see is just hard plastic over here so like what, what I have a, I have no idea what it was intended for but whilst this SUV is big the reverse light is all the way hidden down there now why exactly do you put reverse lights all the way down there on an SUV of this size like don't you want to put a, a reverse light over here or maybe over here or something Let's move to the interior of this Dacia Duster. First thing that impresses me already, guys, is the presentation of this interior. It looks fabulous and it looks far more interesting than the previous generation Dacia Duster compared to this generation. Um, and also, this Dacia Duster gets heated seats, everyone. Now that is what I call premium. This is very interesting. I've never seen this, guys, on a car of this price. So front seats get heated seats, and uh, I like how you get this nice armrest, so this ride becomes more comfortable than ever. It's very, it's very good. The interior design, the presentation is impressive. You get this infotainment system. Uh, it's a basic infotainment system. Don't expect anything fancy out of it. You get the volume controls, you get the USB uh, port right there, and you get a 12 volt socket right there, and you get, oh, you get climate controls over here, although with this kind of button, it kind of reminds me of the Jeep Wrangler. It looks like off-road controls with these kind of buttons. Wow, that's, mm, aesthetically, that looks appealing. Central lock button, parking sensor button, camera button. Oh, guys, I like how everything is nicely laid out as a piano on this. This is what I call premium feel for such a cheap price tag. I mean, look at this, guys. You guys get triple air vents. Now, name me one car below 25,000 euros, which gives you triple air vents. Okay, okay, I, I, maybe I'm exaggerating. There are a few cars that offer this. This is the instrument cluster and, uh, well, it's very basic. One stoke to control the wipers and another stoke to control the lighting system. And you get the mirror controls right here. And, uh, well, I'm assuming that button is for blind spot monitoring. Oh, very nice. So this Dacia Duster actually gets blind spot monitoring. Wow. Now that is very premium, guys. Impressive that you get leather over here and the steering wheel is quite pleasant to touch you get extra media controls over here guys Now that is a very Renault thing. I've always noticed this amongst Renault cars and Guys, I don't know about you all, but I think this is very practical It was actually quite luxurious when I think about it because you know I like it when I'm driving and then I can control this without needing to move my finger off the steering wheel this is one of the best thing Renault has done for cars, in my opinion. Like, look at it. Look. Window buttons over here, guys. And I like this door handle. It's very, very nice. Now, the feel of it is as good as it has to be. I mean, it's just plastic, but it's okay, guys. At least you get this nice chrome trim on it. Some lighting over here, guys. Now, this glove box has to be a deep one. Now, this is that's very impressive, guys. I, I'm very impressed. Look at it. It's quite deep. On the surface, it looks very small, but then as you open it, just look at how deep it is. 
So apparently there is no center console storage. It's just a micro storage over here and uh, two cup holders there and there's also one more cup holder over there which has a fixed shape. There's some questionable aspects about this middle guys. I mean look at it. First of all you get this vertical place over here that just serves no purpose. It has a uh, it's just plastic, okay? It has no purpose whatsoever. This is supposed to be for the lever for your four-wheel drive system. If you don't take that four-wheel drive system as an option, it'll just remain there exposed. And Dacia makes no attempt to cover it. So that's, uh, hmm. At least it has a purpose as a storage, but at what cost? They put the speed limit control right there instead of putting it amongst the steering wheel or amongst other controls on the steering wheel. So that's very questionable. Why do they put it all the way down there? The absence of a center console is a very big letdown in my opinion because uh, this Dacia Duster has a lot of potential. So why did they not put a center console storage? There's just the fixed cup holders that have no uh, variable adjustments for any different size of drinks. It's all one fixed size. And then micro storage over here that's a bit shallow, but well, still as good as it has to be. Another aspect I found a bit questionable was how the steering wheel seems a bit unexplained. Like something seems a bit confusing. For instance, this looks like the volume control to me, but then upon seeing this little symbol over here, that looks like something to do with cruise control. So this leaves me to question, is this the volume control or is this cruise control? Whilst this door bin is practical enough, I have very big doubts a big water bottle will fit in there. When I first saw this Dacia Duster interior, I thought this was supposed to be extra storage. So, yeah, I just don't understand why put a exposed fuse box right there. Like, wouldn't it be better to have extra storage? For some reason, they've hidden the lighting adjustment, height adjustment of the light right there. And it's all the way hidden, guys. Now, do you all know where the fuel cap latch is? It's not here. It's all the way down there. They kept the fuel cap latch here. Now, this has to be the first time I've ever seen this on any car, guys. Now, we're going into the rear of this Dacia Duster. The rear seat is quite cozy. The seat feels like a bench, though. It's a bit on the firm side but it's not a big issue. Despite the seat feeling on the firm side, I'm very impressed with the leather stitching on it. Like, look at this. From a distance, this looks actually premium. You get uh, enough leg room, you get enough knee room. I can't complain at all. I have so much headroom. Check this out. I mean, wow, I've never seen this before in a, well, I mean, to be honest, it's quite expected for a crossover. You get a handle over here and also you get rear lights also get a nice back seat pocket so that's spacious and of practicality in here I see and also you get this uh, side door handle that can double as a pocket when leaving the interior of this Dacia Duster there's this huge ridge over here so you have to lift your feet significantly in order to leave this Dacia Duster otherwise yeah you will be leaning too much onto this and that's something you do not want to do in long terms because in long terms you will constantly scratch this part of the ridge. This door bin is very small. It's a bit shallow and I don't see a big water bottle fitting in there. So, yes. And then also there's just so much hard plastic everywhere. Another flaw I have to point out is that this is proud. This is very much exposed. So, you know, on a muddy day, this will become very muddy. You don't want this to make contact with your clothing because then it will leave a mud stain on it. Now we're moving to the boot of the Dacia Duster. One prominent advantage I've already straight away noticed about it is how spacious it is guys. I mean look at it, it's very deep and now I have never seen this very often on a crossover SUV everyone. This is a special occasion right here. Look and you get also tether points right here, right here. And of course, in the darkness, you have a beacon of hope, this nice light for the rear storage. However, what is not so hopeful is that there is no 12 volt socket in the rear. 
Now, in order to close the rear door of this Dacia Duster, you should never make contact with the metal. You should never make contact with the body paint. You should always put your fingers here. All your four fingers in there, your thumb over here. So here's my conclusion of the Dacia Duster. You are buying this car because of its cheap price tag, its economic values, and also, to some extent, it is actually quite good value for money. It's not the best value for money, but it's as good as it has to be, guys. It's, I, I've never seen some equipment on cars of these price tags. Now, of course, this is a second-hand Dacia Duster. It's a good A to B machine with a bit of off-road capabilities if you choose the four-wheel drive version. However, this doesn't have a four-wheel drive version. It's a two-wheel drive. But hey, who said you can't go off-roading with a two-wheel drive? This Dacia Duster is a front-wheel drive, so the engine powers the front wheels. And this means you still have enough traction in the winter. You want my opinion of this Dacia Duster? I love this Dacia Duster, guys. It's nice, okay? It's good value for money to some extent. However, it is one of the cheapest crossover SUVs on market, guys. And there's a reason why it has been selling like hot cakes. It actually has, believe it or not. Now, there's selective tastes to it, that's true. But you are not buying the Dacia Duster for the taste. You are buying it because it's a cheap A to B crossover SUV. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos that are on the run.